Hello, this is Tanya Cunningham in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm a beta tester for the Electric Eel Wheel Mini 2. Today I'm going to be spinning this space-dyed wool roving from Paradise Fibers in the colorway Neptune. I will be woolen spinning a thin single and then double plying. Let me introduce you to the Mini 2. It's so small and convenient to take anywhere. I'm using this little makeup case which fits the Mini 2, its power cord and a clamp, plus a ball winder and lots of fiber. The Mini 2 is very light and needs to be stabilized to keep it from moving while you spin. The special notch at each corner of the case makes it very convenient for clamping to a table. There are also keyhole openings for mounting to a block of wood using screws. Or you can rubber band the Mini 2 to a battery pack which gives you the ultimate in spin anywhere portability. The minimalist design of the case along with the open work design of the bobbin means that you can see your yarn on the bobbin from any angle. It's easy to fill a bobbin in no time with the Mini 2. Let's see if my single has the right amount of twist for a double ply. Looks pretty good. It's easy to stop and start or change the speed at any time. The hooks are easy to move with one hand and will not rotate because of the triangle shaped flyer arm. The unique design of the case using half open cradles that hold a bearing at each end means that the wheel spins easily and quietly. Changing bobbins on the Mini 2 is fast and easy. Simply pull the drive and tension bands over the ends of the case and lift the entire flyer free. Remove the smaller bearing and slide the bobbin off. Since I only have one bobbin with the test unit, I'll wind each single onto a center pull cake. After winding my first single onto a center pull cake, I'll replace the bobbin on the wheel and spin my second single. Once I have both singles wound off, I'll be ready to ply. Simply replace the bobbin on the flyer, put the bearing back on the end, and drop the flyer with its bearings back into the cradles. Replace the drive band and the tension band, and thread the leader through the other sides of the hooks, and I'll be ready to go. Once I've got my two ends attached to the leader, I'm ready to start. Oops, I forgot to reposition the direction switch. This looks very awkward, but this switch will be on the outside of the case on the production model. Now I'm finally ready to go. Once I get some take up, I'll place the two singles on the floor and ply away. I'm using a slower speed for plying than for spinning the singles and the Mini 2 has plenty of take up for the task. It's easy to stop to check whether I'm getting the right amount of twist in my double. It looks good. Now I'll just let you listen to the soothing sound of the Mini 2. Here's my plied yarn wound off into a cake. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about the Electric Eel Wheel products, check out the links below.